ARC left early access in 2017, but still has so many things to fix. Enter the ARC spinoff Atlas. Is this the new ARC? Is it better? I'm going to put them head to head and let you decide. And that's coming up right now. Welcome to Lost Boys Gaming. Welcome to Lost Boys Gaming. My name is Shay. Now, a lot of people are calling Atlas the new Ark or Ark 2, but I don't really think it is. And taking a quick peek at Community Crunch 160 gives us a little more insight as lead developer Chris Wolby talks about the future of Ark, mentioning potential DLC, supporting Ark through 2019, and the next generation of Ark. Now, I've heard from my tribe and others in the community that think it's a ridiculous idea that the developers of Ark, Instinct Games, and the newly formed Grape Shot are forging off into this new direction, considering the fact that Ark still feels incomplete uh, with all the lag and performance issues. However, I'm taking a more optimistic look on this because I believe they have learned a lot since the early access version of Ark was released in 2015. I think since they're trying so many new things in Atlas and have learned so many things from Ark in the last three years, I believe the games will create a reciprocal effect and help each other out. Now we can only speculate on this because only the wildcard developers really know and based on this post maybe they really don't either. One thing I think I can officially say is Ark right now is currently a wildcard. God, you are such a tool. Now that I haven't cleared up anything about Ark, let's move on to Atlas and its community and environment. Now, I've heavily favored PvE in Ark because of the difficulty to get up to speed as a new player. Atlas is trying something different by adding leveled cap starter zones that allow you to learn the ropes and meet new people in safe zones before you venture out into the wild. For those of you that still want to play PvE, that is also available. While Ark has an official server limit of 70, Atlas will be hosting 40,000 players on the globe simultaneously using, quote, proprietary server network technology. The Atlas globe is 45,000 square kilometers or roughly 28,000 square miles. And that, folks, is bigger than West Virginia. How do I know? I fucking Googled it. The building system in Atlas is an overhauled version of the ARC building system with automatic foundation elevation adjustment, dynamic tile type swapping, and improved snap detection. However, in Atlas you get to build legit boats, not just a raft with base pieces stacked on top of it like in ARC. You start off with a dinghy rowboat and you work your way up to a titanic galleon capable of transporting a huge crew and cargo. The overall feel of the buildings in Atlas is definitely more polished than Ark's. With Ark, the map starts off as a blank canvas of a landscape and it's up to you and the others inhabiting the map to paint this landscape with buildings. This often turns the landscape into a map full of square boxes for people just trying to get by and I don't think the devs had this in mind for Ark in the beginning. You can get a glimpse of what I think they envisioned by watching some of the earlier trailers. Thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.